All right, today we're gonna to be looking at how we can use the power of AI inside of Canva. So you may not have the, uh, like a mid journey subscription or a Dolly three, um, a subscription or a Leonardo, um, AI, all these different ones in order to use the tools to their fullest, it costs money. But if you have Canva pro already, you'll be able to do this and not have to pay for other tools on top of paying for Canva pro. So um, I'm starting here in ChatGPT and I'm using ChatGPT 4, but you can use 3.5 as well. Uh, and I've got this one, I'm having some uh, issues with the plugin. I would actually use this plugin called Perfect Prompt um, and it would be under here, but for some reason it's not working for me right now. I'm having an issue with plugins in general, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to still just use ChatGPT 4 and it'll work just fine. You can see we have this prompt over here. So create a prompt for an image of a kid's clip art coloring page image of a happy lion in the Sahara Desert. So I'm gonna go ahead and push enter on that. It's gonna go out there, it's going to write us, imagine a kid's clip art coloring page featuring a cheerful lion in the Sahara Desert. The lion should have a big friendly smile and its mane should be depicted in simple cartoon. So, I mean, we got this very in-depth prompt right here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And of course, we're gonna go over to Canva now. So I'm gonna go over to Canva and I'm just gonna go over to create a design and let's just say we're going to create this as a uh, portrait 8.5 by 11. Um, and maybe we're going to make this and we're going to sell this on um, Etsy or uh, Teachers Pay Teachers and so forth. So I'm going to go over here and we're just going to go over to Elements right over here. And I'm going to scroll down and we can quickly get to it by right over here. Uh, generate your own. I'm going to just click on that. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up the uh, Magic Media right here. So I'm going to uh, create Open. And then I'm going to put this prompt in right over here, that big prompt. It is going to cut off at a certain point. So we have the background should show a basic representation of, so it um, unfortunately um, it's going to cut off about right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come actually come back over here and I'm just gonna say, uh, regenerate half the prompt and make it 50% smaller, something like that. We do have a smaller one right over here. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this part, simplify this in one sentence. So you might have to mess with this a little bit. So I'm gonna go and grab this part right over here. I'm gonna go back over to Canva real quick. Control A, delete, Control V. We might still have a little bit more room. I'm not sure, it's probably not gonna fit. We're gonna go ahead and try anyways. Okay, cool, fun and easy for kids to color, but that's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna say, um, to be easy to color. And we're gonna find a place where we could just maybe subtract a character right there. And there we go. All right, so then now we have all these other ones. We have watercolor, we have anime. So I'm gonna go ahead and control A, control copy. I just wanna copy that um, and put it in like a notepad uh, so we don't lose that. And we can go and see all the styles now. And I'm gonna go with playful right here. And I'm gonna say generate image. So now the power of Canva is gonna go out there and create this image from an AI prompt that we got in ChatGBT. Um, and we're going to create the image right here. Oh, that's some really good stuff right there that we can actually color that in. That one is really good right there. So we got some really good stuff right over here, um, but I like this one because it actually will be able to be colored in. So this would be great for a classroom uh, of course, we can go and just maximize this. We might even do something like um, add, uh, go into file, and then uh, show print bleed. And now we have the print bleed, so we can just make this right up to the edge right over here, just like so. And then right here, I might double click in here and move this over, move the line over so that the tail is not cut off, and then just say done. And then now you have this nice page right here that when we print, um, kids can go and color this lion and they already have the backgrounds done. So this could be great for, you know, maybe a younger age group that the uh, background's already done um, and so forth. We can also um, make this page, um, you know, add another page and we could use some of these other ones right over here. And if you wanted to like sell these, you could say, hey, here's some great clip art right over here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and see if I can actually remove the background and just keep the lion. We'll see if it can do that with this. 
No, it didn't really do that part right there. We might be able to also go in here and use the magic eraser and come in here and just start erasing um, some of this right here. So there's a lot of different things that we could do. And if you spend some time in here, you'd actually be able to, you know, clean this up pretty good. It'll just take a little bit of work. Uh, you're going to have to make your um, the circle finer and so forth. But then you'll have this nice, beautiful clip art that we can go out and now make into stickers or clip art and so forth, right? So there's a lot that we can do with this. So we have some really, really good ones over here. Now you can change your prompt and so forth. But this is just a really awesome way to create these uh, images, these clip art images, this coloring page right here and so forth. Now, if you wanted to, you could come in here and I'm just gonna add another page. We could say something like uh, Compact Kids coloring page, half the standard size, um, the line with a broad smile, blah, 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 should be central. And right here, I'm just gonna say, include a background that is also um, a coloring page page all black and white so something like that and then we're going to say generate again now you can use uh, a number of the different engines right right now we're using the um the playful one um, which will be for younger ages that we would be selling this on etsy um, maybe we'd be selling these to teachers or parents right but you could also use a lot of those other engines just to kind of test out and see if you can get some different ones like right over here we have a couple really good ones now we're creating coloring pages from scratch using Canva. Some of the times it's going to miss the mark right there, but look at this right here. We go ahead and now we have this coloring page. And to get the size, all we have to do is just maximize this like so, and then bring this down all the way. And then, like I said, double click in here and try to move that sun over. And look at that beautiful, everything is on the page. I'm gonna say done. And now you have this coloring page. Now we do have um, some mess ups going on right here with the um, with the legs, but other than that, it's almost perfect, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and add page and we'll try this other one and see what it looks like. Um, it, it struggled a little bit with the, with the leg right there. We might be able to come in here and actually fix that. But this is just a super easy way to create these coloring pages that are unique, that AI created for us, that no one else is going to have access to this. And you can actually start creating these and selling these on different marketplaces or create your own Shopify store, et cetera, et cetera. There's so many ways that you can sell this. And there's, you know, so many people, there's 8 billion people in the world and, you know, less than 1% actually know how to, um, that know that there's even AI that exists right here. So. Um, the market is just wide open to be able to go out there and actually sell this artwork created by AI. I want to come in here and uh, use the uh, edit photo, um, the magic erase tool. And I want to see if I can come in here. Uh, I'm going to use the mouse bar and I'm also going to see if I can go in here and make the brush size smaller. And then I'm going to come in here and see if I can erase that leg so i'm gonna go like that i'm gonna scroll down very carefully and right there like like so so it's really just that black mark and then let go it's going to get rid of those two little lines that kind of show that there's another leg back there and now there's no leg and that didn't work but then there's another uh, thing that we can do guys is we can come over here we can scroll in a little bit more and this is great because i did wasn't anticipating having to fix something like this I'm gonna scroll on even more, really close to the leg right there. But actually what we can do is just come over here to elements and go to shapes right over here. I'm gonna grab a circle shape. We're gonna make this white. And then what we're going to do is obviously make this very small. We're gonna scroll down. We're gonna drag it over here and make it even smaller like so. And then I'm going to put this right about right here. Perfect. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste right here. And then now I'm gonna use my arrow key. I'm gonna click on it, use my arrow key to move this around. And I'm gonna to need to use my mouse. So it might take a couple of tries. I'm gonna do a control copy and a paste again. And I'm just gonna put that one right there. And we might just need one more like so. So now we just used white circles. Um, this one over here does need to be cut down just a little bit. So then now check this out. I'm gonna scroll back out. 
and there you go. So now we have our lion that's easily um, identified. There's only four legs. Everything else looks good. And we've got this really nice coloring page. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. You can start off using ChatGPT to get your prompt over here, refine that. One of the only limitations in Canva is uh, the length of the prompt um, can't be too long. Um, but we still were able to get what we wanted right here. So make sure that you subscribe. More videos like this coming soon, and I'll see you in the next video.